YouTubers is a smart thing right here, and we can switch gears here this, uh, this evening. Um, I think it's, it's about time to um, talk about a very serious subject. Um, um, many people in, in the news and social media have uh, commented on um, so many celebrity deaths in the last uh, week, last few days to weeks. Um, so I'm, I want to dwell on that today. And I'm also going to share what I wrote about the subject of death. But let me start first. Uh, I'm going to take off the video, but I will share the screen. Um, so I'm going to share the screen and I want to um, uh, give you some highlights of what's been going on. I'll get to that in a minute. But I want to, I, I want to see, I want to to see what's been going on. This is just August, just the month of August itself. And, um, I believe it's August. Yeah, it has to be August. And uh, okay, August. So in the month of August, um, we've lost so many, of course, people died. But the point of this video is to really highlight some of the big, uh, well-known celebrities that passed away. Beginning of the month, going up, spider web. I, I know that's a, that's a uh, yeah. Uh, let's see. Look it up here. We lost the basketball legend. Okay, his name. James Khan. I think he's the first person in the month of August. Yes, I think so. James Khan. That's on the six. Uh, earlier we had uh, a, a uh, evangelist preacher, Ed Hinson. Uh, he wrote a lot of books on the end times, the book of Revelation. Uh, he's well known in, in the first, first world. Uh, who else? Tony mm -hmm. Sirico, he was Holly Warner. Uh, from Spanos, Gregory Eitzen. He played uh, Charles Logan in 24. Um, he was in the mental And the movie Lincoln with uh, Daniel Day Lewis. And he also was in um, Star Trek Voyager once or twice. No, I'm sorry, not Voyager. Uh, Deep Space Nine. So we got him. Actor L. Q. Jones, he was in the movie called um, uh, uh, Casino, I believe. He was in the movie Casino with Robert, Robert De Niro. And he was also in the TV show, I believe he was in, the, he was in a TV show called Renegade with um, Lorenzo Lamas. Who else? And that's on the 9th. And we know about uh, 
the president, no, he was the prime minister of Japan. He was assassinated, you know about that story. Looking for familiar names here. Most of these, it's, it, it's, I, I don't want to say it, it's, it's good that this happens, but most of these people are, are passing away at a, at a good age. Um, by good age, meaning uh, the, in the 80s or 90s. And, and that's, a, that's a good age to leave this world. To leave this world at such a young age, in the 50s and 40s, that's really sad. That's really sad. Um, but I want to really look at people. Let's see. Ivana Trump, she was one of the first, I think she's the first wife of former President Donald Trump, I believe. Um, she passed away on the 14th of August. And then you had Nikki Rooney Jr. That's who. These are uh, David Warner. He, um, if you're a big Star Trek fan, you know him from Star Trek Six. He played Captain Vulcan, and he also played a Romulan. No, I'm sorry, not a Cardassian. Uh, Cardassian character soldier, uh, Gold Masset. In the episode episode Chain of Command, part one and two, and in that particular episode, he uh, captures Captain Picard and pretty much tortures him, uh, trying to get information on what's going on in um, what the Federation is doing um, in Romulan territory, or uh, I'm sorry, Cardassian territory. So. Um, so that was on the 24th of this year, uh, this month. Oh wait, I'm sorry. This is July. Yeah, so July. I'm sorry. Who? Uh, At Carol, she, she was the voice of Ursula in Little Mermaid. She passed away on the 30th. And then you had in August, oh, now this is August. You had Ben Scully, that was just on the second.
but you also had in the last few months you had also you know uh, who was in Goodfellas. He was in. Uh, he played Juliet's dad in Romeo and Juliet with uh, Claire Danes and uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. He played a whole bunch of mafia movies, um, or he at least he played a mafia character. But what you may not know, uh, outside of the mafia mafia movies, um, Paul Savino played Sergei Rezenko. Uh, who was um, the, the stepbrother or the foster brother of Michael Dorn's character Wark in Star Trek Next Generation. And the episode is called Homeward, I believe it's called. And so, and that was a good role for him. For Paul but that's what he, he did. We also had Oli Walnuts, also known as Tony Sirico, Ben Scully, uh, and this lady's all over social media now. Uh, Michelle Nichols, who played the original uh, Lieutenant Uhura. I believe she later became a commander, a Lieutenant Commander, uh, by the time the movies came out. Uh, uh, Uhura. Uh, uh, Nyota Uhura, yeah, Nyota. And she was, she's called, she's been called a trailblazer in Star Trek because she's the first woman, and not the first woman, but she's the first African American woman to uh, have an authoritative role in a TV show. Uh, and that was Michelle Nichols. And that was deliberately done by Jean Bradbury, uh, the creator of Star Trek. And she held that role and she became a role model for Whoopi Goldberg. And then later on, Whoopi Goldberg played Dinah. But she also became a role model for um, Zoe Zadana, who played Uhura in the Calvin Time Run movies. And the current uh, actress who's playing Uhura in Strange New Worlds. And um, but she was also not only a, a pioneer in Star Trek, but in the space program, NASA. Uh, there was a recent um, documentary done about her being good friends with one of the astronauts on the Challenger uh, mission, which uh, unfortunately blew up. Uh, Year was that 1981? Um, Challenging the mission. Um, there was an explosion. What year was that? 86. Okay. Well, that was it. But um, Michelle Nichols knew one of the astronauts um, in that disaster. Uh, and there's a very good uh, documentary I saw about a month ago or so about that. So check that out if you want to. Uh, and then you had uh, Ray Liotta, who died in May. And he was uh, an actor in Goodfellas. He also did, uh, he did the movie of Stafford. Stafford, I think it was. Um, let's see. Let's say Joe Jackson Stewart. Yeah. Yeah. Down 
I've heard from, uh, and I've not seen the Whitman movie really yet, but it was recently uh, reviewed by uh, Michael Kenzie. Which I like to get in. Field of Dreams, Peace Pillars, Peace Cannibal, John C. Wild Hogs. <laughs> Oh, Crossing Oak, that's it. The play Crossing Oak with um, uh, Harrison Ford, among others. Ended a whole bunch of things. And, and quite a bit of TV. Um, Ray Liotta, uh, Vince Scully just recently passed away. Holly Walnuts, Tony Sirico, Paul Sirino, and Chris Ellis. A uh, whole bunch of people. And I've heard this, and if you follow um, the news, uh, someone once said, I think it was, it was a mob, mob that said, um, everything happens in three. Well, that was doubled. In the last month and a half, I think about six people. Is the best I've ever heard. Russell, Bill Russell, he just passed away uh, three days ago. So three days of the 31st, he passed away. And uh, July 31st. So that's, what, that's what's been going on, folks. And it states that it happens. And what even that for Ray, that Ray was Ray Leota was not that old at all. He was probably 16, 16. Oops. Say Henry Hill, sort of based on true story, but there's a lot of uh, liberty taken. Yeah, 67, that's pretty pretty good. That's younger than my parents. Okay. Yeah. Both of my parents are close to 70. So, from Bill Russell, Paul Sabino, Tony Sarico, Jim Scully, Michelle Nichols, uh, Ray Liotta, and a whole bunch of others. Um, this has been a very in 2020 was a very bad year um, for the world, basically, and 
if you believe, if you believe um, the news, which says that half a million people have died of COVID um, in the last three years now, almost three years, over half a million people have, have died. Um, that that's just crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I want to um, share with you guys a few things. Uh, I've actually written uh, a book, and uh, I've written more than one book. But I want to give you guys what I believe uh, uh, is true about death. Because two types of death: one is physical, and the other is spiritual. Okay. And uh, yeah, actually, three. Uh, I'm sorry, three types of death: uh, physical death, um, spiritual death, which can happen during your life, uh, and then this, and then of course, there's eternal death or eternal separation. And if you believe in the Bible, then you believe that there is hell as much as there is uh, heaven. But I also want to go down to some uh, road further down in this book. This book is called Faith. And you can look it up. It's on Amazon. You can look it up if you want to. Um, talk about COVID nineteen. Uh, here we go. This is what I wrote about that. I have two separate notes on this. One from 2014 and one from 2016. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna I'm gonna share this, and you can go to this video when once it's uploaded. You can go to this video and you can read everything that I wrote on there. You can read it. You don't want to wait for um, uh, to uh, buy the book. You can do that right, right in this video. <laughs> so, uh, the first time I wrote about the so besides the three, the three uh, parts, the three axes of existence that were on the very beginning of the book, birth, life, and death. Uh, I wrote about this because in 2014, they were, the, uh, the uh, Supreme Court, I believe, was making the death penalty unconstitutional. Uh, I believe this, this was um, the court. And then the second one was in 2016, And Billy Graham was still alive. But I'm, I'm repeating, I'm sharing what um, Billy Graham wrote, uh, spoke on that and wrote about it. Uh, Billy Graham has a, has a book called Face and Death in the Life After. Uh, so you can read. You can go to the library and get that book, uh, Facing Death and Life After by Billy Graham. Or you can read it here 
and invites to be reminded on it. Right from my open office, um, my open office document. Right? Again, if you don't want to wait for to get the book, you can just read it here. And I'm just going to show you one portion of it. And then I'll go back to the beginning. And you can read about the three actions of existence. I know I had Three deaths. Three continues. This is a death. Years of death, meaning um, died to the world, or another way of saying years of death is regeneration. And then there's eternal death. And regeneration is also part of the the two births, physical birth and then the spiritual birth. This is being born again. You can read these these two that uh, shows you. You're more than welcome to just read it from this video. And uh, that's basically what this this video on YouTube is all about. So if you're not a believer in the Christian faith, then maybe just, you know, everyone's going to die, of course. But if you don't believe in um, if you don't believe in uh, Christian faith, then what you Christian faith has, has to give you, hey, that, that's your choice. Uh, but this is what I was raised with. And um, so you're more than welcome to believe it. You're more than welcome to disbelieve it. And that's totally cool. Um, that, again, that's your choice. But just, just think about no matter how young or how old you are, um, death will happen unless the rapture comes. Unless the rapture comes in, in, in Christian, you have nothing to worry about. But un, until until the rapture comes, you better be worried. 
or you better be ready, okay? Because um, whether you serve in the military or not, hey, I've, I've lost not for you. I, I usually don't share uh, family stuff, but I, this year alone, I've lost two uncles already. And that's, that's, that's true. Uh, the, my mom's brother was a uh, army medic in Vietnam. And he was in the, he passed away yeah. eight January, eight January, February of this year. And then uh, my sister, my mom's brother in law, my mom's sister's husband, just recently passed away. And uh, three weeks ago, we had a funeral. Uh, I, I wasn't able to go because I had the church camp, I believe, that week or just a week before that church camp. Um, so he was. Charles Lemsky, what's his name? Uh, Charles was a, a police officer in Newark, New Jersey for 26 years. Um, I think it's a, it's a part of the part of the name of the town. Township. Uh, Montville, I think it's Montville Township. I think it was Montville Township. Here, 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 Township in New Jersey. North County, New Jersey. Yeah, Mont I believe it's Mont Montville Township, New Jersey. And that's where um, probably the sheriff of Township is, I believe so. And um, Yeah, Montville Township Police Department. So he served there for, and that's what he did. And, and again, with, uh, I don't I think you can find Richard Gray. Anyway, that hey folks, it's coming for everybody's gonna die. Unless the rapture happens soon, everybody's gonna die. They die young and they get, die old. Uh, that tomorrow uh, is never promised to you. So uh, think about your life, think about your death, and as we remember those who just passed on, uh, may their uh, memories live on in their family and uh, pray for them if you're in the prayer warrior type 
Pray for these families. Pray for these families. I, I would. Uh, so this this is my little uh, video speech about death. And again, go go back to where I shared the uh, the notes on death that I've written, uh, or you can buy the book called Faith. It's, it's on Amazon. You can get it on Kindle. You can get it on um, in paperback, I believe. I'll show you. Uh, um, uh, Well, <laughs> let me look at my. What's this? Oh. Look at my name. And there's more than one Matt Kramer, so better look carefully. Okay. Uh, some of these Matt Kramer guys are smarter than me. So here's the one that you can get. Uh, this is, this is, uh, I don't think I changed this one. I think this one, the large book, is paperback. Yeah, this one's a lot. This one's a larger one. So you can get it on Kindle for twenty-eight fifty-eight. You can get it hardcover twenty-two seventy-two. You can get it paperback fifteen, almost sixteen bucks. Um, if you want to do that, you're more than welcome to do that. And the, the articles about death in a row here are in this book. Okay, they're in the book. Right. Um, but, and there's, there's two, uh, two of the same sort. <laughs> Go into religion and spirituality. I got all these other books too. So, more than welcome to buy uh, the book. So, the, uh, most of these are on Kim. Okay. Uh, number seven, you can read that 1430. Love is. Which is uh, sort of a uh, a sequel, an unofficial sequel to Judah Smith's book, Jesus is Life is. So I wrote Love is based on Second Corinthians, uh, was the first Corinthians 13. Love is space and love is time, love is long, uh, et cetera, et cetera. I wrote a book on that. Okay, what is true? Part one, 1430. I, if you want to go big, you want to buy the unknown psalm books on Kindle, that's 142 bucks. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, you got the faith. You're more than welcome to buy it on Kindle. It's a little, it's a little more expensive, more higher price. If you're, more, if you're into the Kindle more than the actual book, hey, have at it. More power to you. But I just wanted to share. Um, from my documents what I wrote. But if you want if you want to get the book, read the whole book, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, it's called Faith, Giving the Gospel Message to the World of Forgotten God. Okay. Uh, unknown Psalms. Uh, that that's all the Psalms except for 150 and Psalm 23 is not in there. Um, I may make a separate book based on Psalm 23 and Psalm 150, 
Uh, I may do that. I may not do that. <laughs> I haven't decided on that. Uh, what is truth? Talks about the doctrine, the grace doctrine that I was raised with. And it goes all through. Uh, he just talks about, uh, uh, I go through all the um, books of the Old Testament and part of the New. Volume two is part of the New Testament. Okay? So volume one is, is the grace doctrine, but also the seven dispensations or eight dispositions uh, throughout biblical history. Uh, so that's what this book is about. If, you're in, if you love history and the Bible, this might be a book for you. Um, if you're looking for uh, a book on love, based on 1 Corinthians chapter 13, this may be the book for you. Okay. Uh, number seven, a study of Christ and, and the gospel. I think I have another book called number 12. Uh, that's not released right now, uh, but I may release it very soon. Oh, here it is. Here's number two. Um, in the three, you can do that. On Kindle 1428. The Unchangeable Truths of Scripture, number 12. Uh, you can buy it. If you have Kindle Unlimited, it's free. Uh, but if you don't have Kindle Unlimited, is 1428. Okay. Uh, what else? What else? I think that's about it. So you're more than welcome to buy these, those books that I shared with you. Uh, that's it, folks. That's it for today. Um, I just wanted to give you the speech that came on my head as I was coming home from work. So. That's what you get. I hope you enjoyed this, this video. If you want to ask questions about it, you're more than welcome to ask questions. Um, and uh, I and just uh, just ask your questions in the comment section below, and I will be more than happy to answer your questions. Uh, be a disagreement, whatever. If you want to post a debate, you're more than welcome to do that too. Hey, I, I got no problem with that. Um, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Oh, uh, here we go. There's my camera. Hello. Uh, so, hey, uh, please, uh, if you have questions or comments, please give them to me. Just put, put, them, down, put them down in the comment section below. Um, yeah. Uh, so I just wanted to share that with you guys. It just came in my head um, so as I was coming home uh, from work today. So I just kind of put that out. Um, Michael Francis has some good videos on uh, uh, Paul Servino, Ray Liotta, James Kahn, Tony uh, Sirico. Uh, so yeah, uh, put, put that up there. Um, watch those videos if you're into uh, mafia actors who pass away. Uh, Michael has all all the videos on that so far. Um, so check those out as well. So, Give a shout out to Michael Kennedy. Thank you for viewing this video. I hope you have a great day and a great evening.